Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tag, and this is going to be the um, Makeup Addiction tag what, that was created by Tracy Lee Beauty. And she didn't tag me, but she kind of left it like an open tag, and she asked for all creators, um, you know, that she knew and that were interested to do this tag. So I decided to go ahead and do it. It is a fun tag, has some good questions. So I'm going to do it while I create a simple look with the Juvian. This is the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place. And I've had this palette for a little while and I have never used it. So this is the palette. It is beautiful, like most Juvia's Place um, palettes. So um, I'm going to start, there's really nothing there for me to use in the crease that is light enough. So I'm going to use this bronzer right here from the Tarte. This is the Tarte, it's a face palette. And I've had this for a while and look at that. I've hit pan on two, two shadows. That doesn't happen very often in my life. So the first question that um, in the tag is, how long have you been addicted to makeup? Now, I have been passionate about makeup all my life. Um, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup till I was 15 years old. And trust me, as soon as I was 15 and allowed, I was wearing it. But I don't feel like I'm addicted to makeup. I love it. I really do. I enjoy it. It's, you know, it makes me happy. I definitely is something that, you know, I find that it's an outlet for me. But if I have to give it up, um, you know, if I couldn't afford to buy it anymore, I would be able to do it. It's not a life or death thing. It's not, you know, there's more important things in life than makeup. So um, I really don't think it's an addiction. Um, it's, I don't want to call it a hobby because it's not a hobby. I don't know. Well, it is a passion, you know, but, um, you know, if I have to leave my house without makeup, I do. So I don't think I'm addicted to, to it at all. I just really enjoy it and I have fun with it. Okay, question number two. What is a makeup item you most addicted to buying? Okay, the makeup item that I enjoy buying the most is probably lipsticks and palettes. I have so many lipsticks that I don't even want to count. And I do also have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And, you know, it's it's crazy because there's only one of me, one face, and I have enough to last me a lifetime. But probably lipsticks is my biggest, you know, most of the time there's a lot of really nice drugstore lipsticks. They're not very expensive and it's easy to pick up because you're not spending a lot of money. You know, it's, they have beautiful uh, formulas now, so it's easy to get carried away okay now i'm going to use uh, this one right here with, which is called morocco which is kind of like an orangey like a burnt orange okay question number three how many of your favorite items do you have i don't know i don't want to know i don't want to know how many uh, lipsticks i have or how many eyeshadow palettes i have i'd rather live in denial because i think that if i knew how much i really did have it would probably really bother me so, uh, let's just say I have a nice collection and I want to continue living in denial. Okay, number four, do you buy makeup just to buy it? I try not to and I don't think I do. I think I've become more selective. For a while there, I was buying makeup. If it would come out, I try to get it right away so I could show it on my, on my channel and, you know, which is crazy. So I try to be selective now and only buy something that I really think I would use, that I really think I would like, that if I, even if I didn't have a, a YouTube channel, I will still think about adding to my, um, to my collection. So I try very hard not to just buy to buy because I was doing that and then I was giving away like palettes and, and you know, because I would use them once and not like the formula and I knew darn well when I purchased it that I probably wasn't gonna like the formula. Like, I hate to say it, but e.l.f. E.l.f. to me is hit and miss. And most of the time when I buy an e.l.f. palette, I'm not happy with it. So why even try? 
to buy an elf palette when I know that probably 80% I'm not gonna like it so even though it's not expensive I'm still throwing money away do you look at an item and have the need compulsion that you need just one more to complete your collection no um, I don't try to have complete collections of anything um, you know if I like it I buy it if I'm gonna use it I buy it but if let's say um, ask that you know ABH palettes you know there's some out there that I know that I'm not gonna like so I'm not gonna buy them just to buy them so no I'm not a collection I collect makeup but I don't have to have a collection of the same of a full set of makeup do you have more than 10 mascaras how many are open um, I probably have about 10 mascaras and I probably have about five of them open. And now a lot of them are like the deluxe size. You know, I haven't really purchased a mascara in a very long time. But um, I do have quite a few of them. Okay, now I'm gonna darken it with this brown right here. And that is called Kenya. And I'm going to use a pencil brush. So, um, and I'm gonna to try to do like kind of like line in my eye and then just take it into the edge okay do you ever throw away any makeup absolutely if I have had something for a long time and I no longer like it um, you know if it's something that I really don't feel comfortable passing on to a family member or a friend I throw it away if it's something that's expired I throw it away um, so I have no problems throwing it away uh, now I don't throw away like they say uh, makeup palette has a 12 month expiration mm, that's crazy I've had eyeshadows that are way over the one year and they're fine so as long as they're not you know they don't look funky as long as they don't smell funky and you know they still look fine I continue to use them so I don't have I don't throw them away just because they expire. Now, if it's a, a face cream or a moisturizer or something, I'm more, I would throw that away because, you know, I mean, you're putting your fingers a lot of times and, you know, you contact with a product and I don't want to put any kind of germs like that on my face. But as far as like eyeshadows and things like that, I throw them away if I have to, but not because of, they say it expires in a year okay what is your oldest makeup item probably a lipstick i'm sure i probably have some lipsticks there that are pretty old and um i just decluttered some like maybe three months ago i went through my entire collection i got rid of a bunch i gave away uh, a bunch that you know i had not even used and i found that i even had duplicates of some of the of the shades you know like some of the milani ones that i really liked i guess i forgot i had it and i bought it again so um probably lipsticks how many do you shop how often do you shop for makeup um i probably look uh through you know the sephora and alta apps you know two or three times a week just to see what's new just to see what's on sale but i don't shop every time um you know, if there's something on sale and it's a good product and it's something that, especially if it's something I want to give away in a, in a giveaway, I try to grab it when it's on, while it's on sale. Um, so, I mean, I shop often, but not on a daily basis. Do you buy any products just for the packaging? No. I do love beautiful packaging, don't get me wrong. But, and I am attracted to the packaging. But if I feel that the product inside is not something that I'm going to use or that I really am excited about adding to my collection, I do not buy it. So, no, I'm not. I'm attracted to packaging, but I don't base decisions on packaging. When a new item is released, do you want or do you send an alarm? No, ever, never. Um, I have never done that. You know, um most of the time I don't even know when something's going to be released uh, very seldom have I 
even pre-order something. I have done that before, but it's not very often that I have done a pre-order, but I have never set an alarm. Um, it's not that important. It's, it's only makeup, guys. It's not, you know, life or death here. There's more important things in my life than to be someone to a palette. So I'm using that same dark brown on my lower lash line. Okay, the next question. Do you have the Ulta Sephora apps on your phone? Yes, I do, and also Beautylish. Do you have so much makeup that you forget what you have that you purchase the same item again? Lipsticks, yes, I've done that before with lipsticks and nail polishes. I have found that I have duplicates and I normally pass them on to my daughter when I do get a duplicate, so. All right, now um, to put on my lid. Let me swatch a couple of these to see what I want. These are the different ones that I'm looking at. But I think I'm gonna go with this one here, just something light. I really don't want anything dark in my eyes today on my lids. Okay, does your makeup make you happy? Yes, it does. I love makeup. I really think that um, I enjoy organizing it, going through it. Um, you know, when I go through my collection, I find something that I haven't used in a while. It's, you know, like a little surprise and I really do enjoy doing that. Um, so it does make me happy. And now tag anyone. I'm going to uh, tag see I'm gonna tag Shannon from books and polish no <laughs> uh, polish and oh my gosh I forgot the name of her channel I would list it on the information box. Also Glamburger, I would love for her to do this tag. Um, Leanne Sorello, I would love to hear what her answers are. Debbie, um, I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm also going to list it on the information box. And I would love to see what you guys have to say. Now, if I know some of you, like Leanne, you guys have a lot going on in your lives right now, and if this is something that, you know, it's going to put you out or add stress to your life, don't worry about it. But um, I'm just curi curious as to what your answers would be. But I definitely don't want to, to be a source of stress in your life. So um, if you're not able to do it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'd love to see what your answers are. This is a great tag. I think it's fun and you get to know us a little more. I think that a lot of you probably think that most of us are really addicted to the makeup and you know, this is just one side of our lives. It's not, you know, we don't live 24 seven attached to makeup. So this is just a little portion of our life that you get to share with us. And we do share our stories and things about our lives so you get to know us better, but I mean, we don't live, breathe, and eat makeup 24-7, even though it's not a bad idea. So anyway, guys, I'm going to put some mascara on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I use the, um, this is the L'Oreal Primer. There we go. And then the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And that's what I have on my eyes right now. That was all the questions on the tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. What I'm wearing on my lips is the Milani and this is the um, Keep It Full Lip Gloss. And I love this, guys. The writing is actually big. Uh, rosy Bronze. Look, look how big the writing is. There we go. And let me swatch it for you. It's very, very pretty. And I just have a lip liner on. There you go. And I have this lip liner by Estee Lauder. Oops. And this is in, this is Estee Lauder Double Wear in Brick. It's 
very pretty. So, um, the rest of the makeup that I'm wearing on my face, I will list it on the information box below, except for the, the um, foundation. That was just a sample that I have from my Giorgio Armani that I don't really don't even care for. But I wanted to try it. I had like a little sample of it, like a one-time trial thing. And it's okay, but um, I mean, it's not anything that I say, wow, this is different than anything else that I have and I need to buy it, so... Anyway, and I do have this as my highlighter. I kind of mix both of these together. These, uh, this is the Urban Decay Game of Thrones Mother of Dragons highlight palette. So I, I mix both of these together and that's what I have on my cheeks today, very lightly. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have a channel and you would love to do this tag, I'm sure that Tracy would love for you to do it. I have all the questions listed below. And if you subscribe to a channel that you like for them to, you know, do this tag, you know, tell them to look it up and do it for you. So you guys will know what their answers are. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I love you and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mwah.